Ah, uh, <laughs> books that I've read recently. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's a good question. I, I tend to read, <clears throat> excuse me, only two kinds of books for, let's call it for pleasure as opposed for books that I have to read. Mm -hmm. um, the nonfiction side tends to be history in various forms and guises. For example, I'm reading a, a, a big book on the history of the Second World War now, one of many that I have read recently. Um, and on the other side, it tends to be absolute pure escapism, that I read basically detective stories, police procedurals, and things like that, preferably set in England, but not necessarily. So, <laughs> what uh, are your all-time favorites? <laughs> I don't really? know. I, the, the authors that I have liked have mostly been the English detective story ones. Reginald Hill uh, was a favorite. Um, I enjoyed P.D. James for a long time. I could probably find others, but that's the sort of book that mm -hmm. I have. And you could argue that it's a total waste of time, but, but it's fun. Um, very often the problem with nonfiction books is that it's hard to get through them in a reasonable amount of time because I tend to read them in the evening before going to bed. And if you read for too long you fall asleep anyway and mm -hmm. so that has meant that I haven't gotten through any number of books that I really would like to books on well, I read one on Henry VIII recently another one on Elizabeth the first right. um, following along like that I didn't get through one on <clears> T.E. <throat> Lawrence which I just couldn't finish before the library wanted it back <laughs> so <laughs> maybe if I ever retire there'd be more time to read books what looks do